Because no one told me. No one told me. No one told me. I'm staying here. Now, you want to arrest me like Charles Owen? Fuck, fuck that. Come on. It was the video that sparked everything. I've been using the same entrance for 28 plus years. The employee's entrance on 33rd Street. I go in, my ticket gets scanned. I'm in. I walk, you know the elevator. Yes. I go in the elevator, and elevator, I, and also people having their ticket scanned also. And elevator's not moving. And the security guy comes to me and says, we need you to get off the elevator. I said, for what? So we, we could speak about it now. So I'm not getting out of the elevator. And led to the Knicks' number one fan. Security guy, they're all, this comes from the top. Blasting the team on the worldwide leader. No one told me. I'm staying here. Now you want to arrest me like Charles Oldham. Fuck, fuck that. Come on. In the distance is famed Oscar winning filmmaker Spike Lee. Beefing with this man. Anything I can sell the team? New York Knicks owner, James Dolan. Lee claims Dolan essentially put out a hit on Spike forbidding the longtime and most notable Knicks fan from entering Madison Square Garden. They wanted me to leave the garden, and I said, I'm not doing that. First of all, you scan my ticket. You can't scan a ticket twice. Also, I know that once you leave a sporting arena, you can't come back in. So I don't trust these guys, so I'm not going for the okie doke So at time, Dolan comes over to me and says, we need to talk. I said, talk about what? We need to talk. I said, Mr. Dolan, I don't want to talk about nothing. And it all starts with the entrance to the garden. Lee said he had used an entrance on West 33rd Street for nearly 30 years, including as recently as last week. That entrance is typically reserved for the news media, employees, and attendees who are disabled. At dispute, the Knicks later said, and Lee denied, that he had been told several times not to use that entrance. He finally is allowed entry by going to the sixth floor of the garden and is escorted to his seat. However, the beef continued. I said, Mr. Dolan, I don't want to talk about nothing. I've been coming through this entrance for 28 years. With Spike saying he never received word of this new policy, the Knicks clapped back. The idea that Spike Lee is a victim because we have repeatedly asked him to not use our employee entrance and instead use a dedicated VIP entrance, which is used by every other celebrity who enters the garden, is laughable. It's disappointing that Spike would create this controversy to perpetuate drama. They even posted an entrance where they demand Spike go through and a blurry picture of Dolan shaking hands with Spike Lee, almost making it seem staged in my opinion, which, let's be real, not good PR, New York Knicks. Not good. Spike replied, what's laughable is how the Knicks are the laughing stock of the league. Oh, damn. On my late mother and my late brother's grave, this is a lie. That they say that they had repeatedly asked me not to use the employee entrance, that is a lie. One Twitter user by the name of Aaron Eisenberg put, in summary, just exactly how the Knicks felt releasing their own statement. Instead of calming the waters, the Knicks create a thunderstorm. This is the Knicks under James Dolan. All he needed to do was choose. I should have known, I should have known. A bad bluegrass singing. Sell the team! Anything I should sell, sell the team? It. You wanna not come to any more games? Why? Yeah, that's rude. Battling fans owner, a trust fund baby, who according to public records uncovered by the website Amplify, already pledged $125,000 to get Trump reelected in 2020. This was after the Daily News reported last year that Dolan donated over 300 k to Trump's 2016 election efforts. He's banned actor Ethan Hawke for critical comments made on Bill Simmons' show. Yeah, that's rude. He banned a New York sports media staple, Maggie Gray because she criticized the team. That's rude. He threw Knicks legend Charles Oakley in handcuffs and viciously escorted him, Oakley, out of the arena. He fired a security guard for not recognizing who he was. He has politically used his connections to make MSG, the garden, fully tax exempt from the state for the entirety of his ownership. Because hey, if there's anyone who needs it, it's this guy. In the meantime, for Spike Lee, he already has other prospects. According to the Times, the rival Brooklyn Nets have reached out to welcome him to Barclays, to which Spike has denied.